It's time to go inside innovation, brought to you by Allegion Pioneering Safety. Well, Indianapolis-based High Alpha has launched another company, this one targeting the real estate sector. The Venture Studio says Shaker is a software platform that provides a streamlined transaction management process for real estate agents and teams, while also bringing clients into the fold. The company was co-founded by Chris Lucas, who has served as an entrepreneur in residence at High Alpha. He also led marketing and business development at Formstack in Indianapolis. Shaker is the 20th company to launch out of High Alpha, a Venture Studio that was founded in 2015. Well, Cook Medical and Goodwill Industries of Central and Southern Indiana and some other nonprofits have formed a unique partnership to build a 100-job manufacturing facility in an area of Indianapolis that really has some of the highest levels of unemployment and poverty in the state. With more on this partnership that could potentially be a model for a statewide uh, implementation, also create high-skilled manufacturing jobs, please to welcome back to the show Cook Medical and Cook Group President Pete Yachman. And uh, Pete, again, welcome to the show. Gary, it's good to see you. I wish I could be there in person, but it's nice to see you anyways. Yeah, likewise. This is, I think, a really interesting and cool story. Let's talk about it now. This is a partnership that, uh, Cook, that you have formed with, uh, with Goodwill, some other nonprofits involved. But essentially, you're creating a manufacturing facility that will employ 100 people uh, in the Devonshire neighborhood, which is about 38th and Sheridan, near northeast side, if you will, of Indianapolis. How did this all start? How did it come about? Yeah, you know, Gary, there's been a lot of talk this year about equity and the challenges there. Um, and you know us well enough to know that uh, we're not the company that maybe communicates the most, but we're, we're very action oriented. So we had an opportunity for expansion. Uh, and given our long history of trying to help communities develop and be a partner with communities, you know, in French Lake, Indiana, West Baden, uh, Bloomington, Canton, Illinois, we said, could we take this new opportunity that we have, be more intentional and try to impact, impact a black community? In our, in, our, in our state. And so we went out, we reached out to our partners, we reached out to Goodwill, and they offered to uh, manage the facility for us, to offer their employees wraparound services for those who need them, like transportation support, uh, uh, wraparound services like education and, and mental health services. We talked to the Indianapolis Foundation, and they agreed to invest in the project so that the community would have equity and ownership yep. and we re return proceeds back to the community. Uh, and then we reached out to the community itself, and. And we reached out to Ashley Gervitz at Unique, and she really taught us that it was important that we build with the community and not on the community. Yeah. Well, let's talk about that. Because we will be building a, a, an FDA-approved manufacturing facility. These employees, uh, which will be managed, as I understand it, by Goodwill, they're going to get trained, uh, good-paying jobs, and access to education as well. Yeah, one of the core beliefs that we have at Cook is that for people to be successful and have upward mobility, it's really important that they have access to a good up, a job with upper mobility, but also access to education. So all the employees there will get the wraparound services from Goodwill, but they'll also have access to a free education from a high school diploma all the way up to a master's degree. Yeah. Uh, talk about, um, uh, Pete, this as potentially a model that others could replicate, because it would seem to me that there's real potential uh, for that. You know, when we went into this, uh, we sat down together and we said, we want to we want to have a, a, a program that can be modeled by other people uh, because we really do believe that Indiana and its manufacturing strength has the opportunity to bring jobs and opportunity back to the state, uh, back to our residents here in Indiana. So we want to create a model that was a win-win for everybody, including the community. And if you look at that, this Gary, it's not philanthropy. This is not a mm -hmm. philanthropic project. This is a way to do good business and also do good in the community at the same time. So I hope that people will look at this. I hope they'll consider bringing jobs and opportunity back to our neighbors. Uh, there's a lot of people out there who need this help. Uh, and I think we have an opportunity here to really try to work to rebuild the middle class. All right, demolition to begin very soon. Uh, uh, hopefully be uh, uh, online in a year or so, but hiring's gonna begin, uh, I know, uh, essentially immediately, Pete Yonkman from Cook Group. Business decision with potentially huge ramifications for our neighborhood here in Indianapolis. Pete, thanks for joining us. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you, Gary. All right.